this tutorial is basically a demo I gave in class in fall of 2019 for VAT. It's going to involve a couple different ways you can create a simple GIF animation and how to save your files so that they save so you can continue work the next day, especially if we're having file stream troubles. So I did two demonstrations. One is to show a smooth moving image and the other is to show more of a flash moving image. So um, this move could represent any vector, any shape, any word. Um, for the, the assignment, you need to make a word move around or make the word move over top of a photo. You can make an animation in that as well, like more like a sticker illustration. It's up to you. But I'm going to show you a simple way to save it. So you're going to set up your frame just like you want the first thing people to see to be. So basically, this is frame one. You are going to file, export, export as, and then head to your desktop which I know is different, but I'm going to have you guys save out there because we've been having such file stream troubles. You're going to right click and make a new folder, name it, you know, whatever you want to name it for the GIF, and then open the folder. And remember, we're saving frame one. So you're going to title it one, nothing more than that. It's simplest just to do numbers. And it's really important you click use our ports. Hit export and hit OK. So then what we're going to do is move to the second frame of our animation. And that those should be really small movements. If you move it by hand, it might get kind of wobbly. So I like to use the arrows on my keyboard, especially if it's a smooth up or down or like right to left movement. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. So you can see what that looks like. File, export, export as. Head to that folder. There's your first one. Title it to use artboards export. We're going to do one more, one, two, three, four, five, file, export, export as, put it in the right folder, name it three, use artboards, export. I'm going to do one more of this. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't hit use artboards. So I put it in, oops, the right folder. I make it the right title, but I forget to click use artboards and export. Um, what I would recommend you do after about every five, six, seven, eight frames or so is go down here to the folder at the bottom, go to your desktop, and look at what you have. So you can see frame one, two, three, and then this is the goof up because I didn't hit use artboards. I've got anything that's out there in my gray space on my desktop also saved. So that was garbage. I'm going to have to redo that one. It would really bite if you realized slide number two out of 15 was garbage. Then you got to back all the way up. So that's why I suggest checking every five slides or so. You can also do this. You can double click it to look at it in preview mo mode and see it move, which is kind of cool. So then you can decide if it's too choppy or if it's working for you. So that's how to make a slide movement. The other thing you can do is a flash movement. So I have this word flash here and I've outlined it and ungrouped it. So they're individuals. I think the easiest and best way to do a flash instead of moving them in and out of the frame would be to hide them. So make them the same color as the background or no fill, no stroke. So they look like they're not there. You could export this as slide one, so it's empty. Then you could do like just the F, could be a color, export that as slide two. Then you could change like the L to a color, but the F maybe disappears. Save that as, you know what I'm saying? So you can move things, they don't move on the screen, but you can flash the colors or change the colors or make them disappear or pop into view. So bottom line though, whatever you do, you're going to have multiple frames. And if you like finish on, the bell's in a ring and it's slide 12 and you're not done because you need 30, if you just leave it like this, two things are going to happen. One, it's going to be deleted. It's left on your desktop, which we'll address in a second. Two, you don't have any file that you can work from. There's no Illustrator file to work from tomorrow. So you need to, before you leave, file save as, because it's an Illustrator file, onto your desktop in that same folder. And I would title it Working GIF. So you remember that that's the file you're working from. Hit save, hit OK. Now you've got the working file. So problem one is solved. Tomorrow you can come in and work from that Illustrator file. Problem two is it's sitting on your desktop, and that's not going to do you any good tomorrow because it'll be gone. Unless you go to your internet, you go to your drive, you go to your VAT folder, and you go new folder upload. You identify on your desktop that folder, hit upload, and it says, do you want all however many files uploaded? Yes, you do. And you hit upload. 
And then you'll see you've got a folder that's got all your files in it, plus this AI file that's your working file. So that's what you're going to do to start building animations in Gus's VAT class, Fall 2019.